start, this is my sign that says Emma's Clock Closet with an analog and digital clock picture on it that I drew. So that everybody knows that it's my clock closet where all my clocks belong. Let's turn the lights on and off, but we don't need to touch it because my lights are already on. Now you go in and here are all my clocks that I will be showing you. But on this bottom shelf are where all my digital clocks belong. You could see I only have one from the Timex company. It's a digital alarm clock, but it also says the current time. This digital clock is one that my grandma gave me. Move on to this shelf where all of my analog clocks go. And also on this side is my watches as well. To start over here, we have this clock tower out of magnet tiles that I made to imitate Big Ben. These two wall clocks, I made this one, and this one's from my mom and dad. Probably wondering why I haven't used my wall space to hang up these two wall clocks. It's because I'm getting two cuckoo clocks in the mail soon, but they haven't quite arrived yet, so I want to hang them up at the same time. These are where the cuckoo clocks are going to go. And then near my watches are where the two wall clocks are going to go, or any more that I buy. Watches. This is a Tommy Hilfiger one that my dad gave me. He also gave me the Citizen Quartz gold one. And then this one right here, this gray one, is one that my mom gave me. But all three of those ones need to be taken to the repair shop for a new battery. This is a digital watch, but I lost the charger, so we're going to get a new one soon. This is the one I bring to school every day so that I know the time that the clock is too far away from my seat. This is my telly that taught me how to tell time from a really long time ago. It's my first ever clock of my own and I don't know where or who it's from because it's so old but it still works. It just needs some new batteries in order to talk or play the game that it wants me to play. See this little thing right there. That it says the digital time so that kids can learn the digital time too. But the batteries aren't in yet, so we don't know when we're going to get new batteries for it, but we are going to get them. Where I put my toy clocks, and then on that side over there is where I put my tabletop clocks for my Kia or Target. And then on that big top shelf is where all my mantle clocks or expensive clocks would go so that they won't get ruined or touched by anybody. But I could still reach them if I wanted to. I may just need a stool. It is also for digital clocks, which can include alarm clocks. And in my analog section, after I hang up these ones, this will just be for alarm clocks. Bye everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video.